pro-environment groups have in the last few years resisted government's quest to undertake mining in the Nyinehini forest and other forest reserves. President Ekufuado during the Independence Day address maintained extraction of minerals should not lead to destruction of the environment. We cannot claim to love Ghana when we treat with such disdain and total careless abandon the forests, the rivers, the vegetation, the creatures and the soils that make up Ghana. Unless we change how we treat the land, future generations will not recognize the Ghana they read about in the land we bequeath to them. I stay firm in my conviction that extracting the minerals we have been blessed with should not lead to the destruction of the forests and rivers. We should all dedicate ourselves anew to taking care of Ghana. He announced government has signed key agreements paving way for bauxite mining and refinery to take place. I witnessed the signing of two agreements in a crowd recently. Firstly, between GIADEC, a wholly owned public entity, and Rockshaw International, a wholly owned Ghanaian private company. We are finally coming to the end of decades of exporting raw bauxite from the country. We shall now refine bauxite, mined in Ghana. Other matters that engaged the president's attention during the address was a thorny issue of free speech. When it comes to free speech and the vigorous media as indicators of a working democracy, I believe we can say we are doing well. There's no danger of dissenting voices not being heard on any subject, even though we have still more work to do on elevating the quality of our public discourse. He urged Ghanaians to take pride in being citizens and join the quest to build a consensus on the values the nation must hold dear. Fellow Ghanaians, there's more to preparing a child to face the world than what can be taught in the classroom. And there's certainly more to molding a Ghanaian child than what our hard-working teachers do every day. Too many parents have relinquished the entire responsibility of bringing up children to what happens in schools. If we are to take pride in being Ghanaian, there should be a consensus on the values we hold dear.